Now, during the COVID-19 lockdowns, many retailers have been complaining that they've still been charged high rents and have been given uh, no mercy by landlords. Well, what if retailers and property owners actually work together? The Property Sector Charter Council has now launched a retail upskill program, and it says it's about a property being involved in helping retailers. Everyone benefits when there are more customers as well. All right, uh, let's uh, discuss. We're now joined by the Property Sector Charter Council CEO, Portia Tal Sekati. Uh, Ms. Tal Sekati, thank you for being with us. So, so this is about property owners and retailers working together. Just give us some more details. All right, and good evening to you, Francis, and good evening to your viewers. So really, our program is really obviously... Um, with COVID, there's been acceleration of some new changes with um, consumer experience also changing, uh, being changed by the environment uh, due to COVID. So what we are doing, and we're working together in collaboration with uh, independent, uh, independent retailers and together with property owners, the intention is really to upskill the independent um, retailers so that they are able to actually uh, deliver uh, new solutions in line with customer expectations and the changing trends due to COVID of e-commerce, people buying from online and upskilling them so that they can actually build their business and um, grow their revenue and be able to become sustainable and uh, to thrive sustain and sustainable in our economic environment. So we're really looking to re-energize our economy through, through this retailing uh, skilling upskilling program that the property sector comes on board to help retailers. We, we've been just hearing the cries of retailers uh, that they are being charged rent by, by property owners, um, that landlords have been unsympath unsympathetic. And it, it doesn't sound like the two sectors have been working together at all. In fact, it sounds like they've been in opposition. So, well, obviously, obviously for the property owners as well, they obviously, um, they are looking for rentals. So vacancies are also not necessarily uh, a good thing for the property owners. So, the, and hence we are coming up with this solution to be able to say um, for those retailers that are currently struggling and they are struggling because they are unable to really be able to, to rose their rental. And partly because some of them are not necessarily delivering to the new changing trends of the consumers which are delivering towards e-commerce and uh, buying through online um, and retailers independent retailers actually take a long time unlike the chain stores they take a long time to change so we are supporting them so that they can their business can grow and as a result they'll actually be able to then pay their rentals but at the same time we are bringing the property owners also on board to be able to to say to them vacancies are also not um, an admirable thing for them actually as a matter of fact is actually a quite a disadvantage for their business because they would like to see their mall also um, with uh, full and being able to get those consumers and all those shopping yeah. centers and those spaces being filled by those uh, shopping uh, independent retailers and all the chain stores. So we are supporting them so that they are actually can, can survive and they can thrive and be sustainable. And the independent retailers, so shoppers would consider these as the smaller stores, not your big um, chain stores, the big names. And the claim is that those big ones are always more resilient in, in hard times. Absolutely. We're talking to these uh, independent uh, independent retailers in the initial phase. And it doesn't necessarily mean that the chain stores uh, themselves are immune to it. But we're talking to the independent retailers because uh, they've been hit hard. I mean, during the hard lockdown, a lot of them were unable to actually do business at all. So they were unable to actually be able to get income. And the result of it is that the rental has been able to be difficult to actually come by to be able to then pay those property owners so and hence we are starting with them in the initial phase and we are bringing up the seaters as well in order for saying to the seaters um, let's help upskilling these retailers so that they actually can start to have this becomes a must-have this kind of training program be must uh, is a must for both the property owners and the independent news and independent retailers to be able to survive for themselves so we are bringing and transforming the small businesses owners 
their own skill set and their employee skill set to provide a sustainable economic for the retailers ecosystem during uh, yes. COVID-19 and post-COVID-19. So very quickly, what does upskilling mean? Uh, we engage with cashiers. Um, I, I think a lot of people think, well, if the shop's got the right goods, um, those, those goods will sell. Yeah, well, upskilling means actually you are bringing a different kind of skill. You are bringing a different, um, you are educating them differently in response to that customer experience in a changing environment. So in this changing environment of COVID-19, a lot of people have been orientated to buy online. Um, so e-commerce has picked up extremely extremely high it is actually they have uh, technology has advanced so rapidly in, in an accelerated manner so you upskill them such that um with the independent newspaper and independent retailers who are not able to actually do them uh, to do this kind of skilling themselves quickly enough and adjust and readjust themselves quickly enough to be able to pick up. We are upskilling them so that they can get to the level where they are able to respond to the consumer and the customer needs in order for their business to actually remain sustainable. So upskilling means bringing them to the level and the speed that is actually responsive to the customer requirements and customer changing needs um, in the current environment. All right, thank you. The Property Sector Charter Council CEO, Portia Tal Sikati. Thank you for your time tonight.